I thought to myself, why not go ahead and just start building Rathalos out and trying to see what I can make of him on this free-to-play beginner account where I don't have all my endgame gear. Um, so let's go ahead and do that, see what we can come up with. Let me just pull some stuff here, see if we can get anything good. We got speed boots on that. The forge is a pretty good place to go ahead and grab gear. The chances to get 5 star gear is pretty good. If you have these rank charms, rank charms will make it so that you have a higher chance of getting higher star gear. 5 star, and then when you go here, you have a higher chance of getting 6 star gear. Rarity will refer to the type of gear, like whether or not it's green or blue, purple, or yellow. The rare epic or legendary piece of gear then there's mythical charms but that, that comes later on that you don't really get early game but i wanted to go ahead and see what we can do with rathalos is there a clan boss key there is a clan boss key available to us now we did get a sacred shard from the campaign doing hard and let me show you the team that i used I know a lot of people have to struggle with this stage with Mortu the boss. Boss Mortu. I used Kale and Sun Wukong, and I had to do it twice because the first time I procced his AO his A his secret skill, where he used his peril. Now, after I did it the third time, I manualed it. I was able to get lucky enough and the RNG was on my side and I was able to kill him. Kale and Sun Wukong are both in lifesteal gear, just so you guys know. So the goal here is to find out how good is Rathalos early game, because I'm on the fence about him. I, in my last video, I was talking about how I don't know that he's going to be good at all, because me being early game, I'm not going to have any good gear. But I want to see what kind of work he does, even though I don't have really good gear. His kit seems pretty insane. I haven't tested him yet. I haven't even used them on my main account yet. I haven't been able to make a guide on him, but I am coming out with a guide soon. I don't think we're going to be able to ascend him too far. I mean, we can ascend him once. Let's do that. We'll ascend him once. Then I'm, I'm going to have to farm to get more of these. I don't want to do too much because I know there's definitely going to be missions asking me to do certain things. So... I mean, specifically to ascend, as well as challenges. There's got there's got to be more challenges for me, requiring me to ascend. So I'm being a little ambivalent about it, but I did want to pull the sacred shard and see what we get. We're in channel zero. I'm hoping we get a decent legendary, and we'll just see. Again, you do not want to pull off of a two x. The best time to pull is during a 2x when the rates are increased. So if I was waiting for a 2x, I'd get 12% instead of just 6%. However, I, you know, I, that's a smart thing to do. But the reality is in the beginning of the game, especially when you're hurting for champions right now, most players are just going to want to pull their shards. I think that's a true thing. Even though I have Rathalos, even though I have Sun Wukong, at the very least, I can get a decent chicken, even if I don't get a, a, a good legendary. So we're going to go ahead and pull it. Hopefully we get something good. And then we'll go into building Rathalos, my thought, my thought process, and then we'll try him out in Clan Boss and see. All right, here it is. Of course, we get an epic, but we get Magnar. Magnar is a pretty goaded champion. That's pretty cool. Decreased defense on the A1. 100% if he's under HP burn. A2 is his percussive pound. AoE. And then he places an extra hit on enemies without HP burns. 50% chance of placing stun. Enemies under HP burns. And, um, places stuns if they do have HP burns. This hits hard. And then Fan the uh, Flames will attack one enemy does a debuff spread. 
taking two random buffs, placing them on all enemies with HP burn. So, of course, he plays well with HP burners. And then it will increase the duration of HP burns. As well as Doom Tower increased the ally defense. Heals by 1% of their max HP anytime anybody takes damage from an HP burn. He is an HP-based champion. Pretty strong champion, especially in places like Arena, early Arena. He'll do quite well. That was a nice pull. Not exactly something I needed. It's not like I'm hurting for damage dealers right now. Might as well just go ahead and pull these, these blues. I'm already here. Again, don't do this. War Maiden, it saves us the trouble of having to go farm for just this year, for just this year, because now we have War Maiden, which need Diabolus, but you get her from the stage 12, right here. Let's go ahead and pull these last few Ancients. I don't think it's entirely a bad thing to pull your shards in the beginning, because in the beginning, you're going to want to have chickens. You're going to want to have champions to access certain areas of the game we had an epic we get grinch a uh, grunch i'm not a fan a lot of books are required for him to do much i, I mean i guess this is nice continue one continuous heal and a four turn cooldown move buff removal feels yeah no i'm just that that's a that's a chicken for me though that's a chicken so we'll take that and use him as a chicken So he will turn into chicken, and we will eventually be able to get our six star, and hopefully that will be soon. We did get something from chat. We got an epic book. It's nice. Okay, let's do a quick gear cleanse before we go ahead and pull up the optimizer to take a look at Rathalos. I don't need the ones and twos. I don't need greens and grays. I'm trying to get rid of that. Threes, I'm going to start getting rid of. Three star, three rank gear. I'm, I'm just, we're not going to invest in that anymore. We're, we're beyond that. We're going to do a simple flat stat check. And all of these are flat stats. By the way, if you didn't know this, for all gear that are on the bottom, the bottom row, gauntlets, chest, and boots, all of those are always going to be a variable. They could be anything from HP flat to HP percent, to speed, to crit rate, or accuracy. But the top row right here, one, two, three, the sword, the helm, and the shield will always have a main stat of attack, a main stat of defense, and HP on the helm. These will always be the same, but the substats down here are the ones that are going to be very variable a variable oh i missed i should have gotten rid of it so let's get rid of it. hp flat so what i did was i oops. so what i did was oh wait can i oops face my face huh strange i can't i can't grab my face oh i can't never mind so what i did was i checked off hp flat flat attack flat defense and I'm searching for those specifically. I'm going to filter them out. And any of those, I'm going to sell because I don't need them. We don't want them. And then the next way that I'm going to continue doing my gear cleanse is I'm going to take a look at each of them and see whether or not I think that they're a good piece to keep. Crit rate on the gloves. I've mentioned this before, but I'm not too big of a fan of having crit rate on gloves. Now, I don't, I haven't given it enough thought about it being on a beginner account. Because in the beginning, you're going to have trouble getting crit rate. But later on, especially when you start farming gear, the, one of the best things you can do is start farming for gear. That's going to net you a lot of benefit. Once you can do things like, um, I lost my train of thought. I back up. Substats are important. That's where you're going to get a lot of your crit rate. So try to get your crit rate from your substats on other pieces of gear. Try not to use crit rate on your main uh, uh, glove. Okay. 
it. We have 123 pieces of gear to look through. Another thing that I let me let me I'll speed this up a little bit. Another thing that I like to do is check for double or triple substats. If a piece of gear has double or triple substats, I start with looking at triples first. If it automatically has triple flats, I get rid of it. If it has double flats, that's something I also would like to get rid of. So these have double flats right here. You do not want to roll this up. This is straight to the trash, even though it's HP percent. Crit rate, especially this, we get rid of that. We also check for flat defense and attack, and these pieces have flats, double flats. Definitely do not want to work with those. Okay, so now we're down to 115. And so we'll we'll hold on to all of this for now. I don't want to bore you guys with too much. I'll do a, I'll do a few pieces so you can see my thought process process when I go into gear cleansing. But right now I'm going to look for specific gear that I'm going to try and use on Rathalos. We're looking for damage type gear, so we're going to do offense. We'll look at speed and crit rate i'm for the same reason that i just mentioned about crit rate being a main stat on your glove i also do not like crit rate gear i do my best to avoid it as well get your substats get used to it train yourself to get your substats to get your crit rate and your speed from substats speed is a different issue because speed boots are forget anything about speed it's, it's more of an end game thing where you try to give your character attack percent or HP percent or defense main percent boots and get your stats, your subs, your speed from other substats. But early on, you can, it's okay giving a, a speed boot. So let's go ahead and get rid of our crit rate gear. Fury, um, you know, it's, it's one of those. Only one situation I think that might help is during clan boss in an unkillable team. Or maybe if you had Leo, who places unkillable on himself. Very situational, but it'd be a long time before I even summon a Leo. Watch me pull him from Void first pull. By that, by that time, I probably will be farming a higher stage, so we're just going to go ahead and get rid of this. And I do not like Day's gear just because it's pretty much useless most of the time. Frenzy, I'm not a fan of either, but we'll just get rid of it. And okay, so let's focus on, sorry, I got sidetracked there. You'll notice that a lot if you hang out with me. I get sidetracked quite often. Attack, offense gear, four stars. We have accuracy, flat HP, two stats we do not want on a offense piece crit rate so when it comes to four star gear i usually only roll it up to 12 i hardly ever go past 12. we're going to roll this up to four if this lands on crit rate i will roll it up to eight and see It did land on crit rate. I'm going to run it over to 8. If it lands on crit rate again, I will try and see if I can get a triple on the crit rate. And then that would be decent to keep for now. Okay. But again, I would still consider this to be quite a, a trashy piece of gear. Just because there are two substats here, then you're, you're leaving stats on the table. But a triple crit rate piece early on would be pretty nice. So we're going to try it out. If it doesn't roll a triple, I'm just selling it. We're day seven, by the way. Just started day seven. As you can probably tell, because we just got Rathalos. I can't wait to get to level 40 and not have to deal with this. Okay, triple. Okay, triple. Now we're going to keep that just for a little bit. 
We got a double on the attack. That's a good roll. Accuracy and crit rate. We already have triple crit on this piece. We're just going to sell this piece here. Crit rate gloves with bad substats. We're just going to get rid of that. Defense on an offense. This is what I call a redundant piece. Offense increases attack. You want to put this type of thing on a offensive champion. A champion that is attack based moves. Same with Rathalos. Not somebody who is a support where their moves are based on. Oh, that's not a good example. It's a bad example. Not a support champion where their moves are. Oh, that's also not a good example. Not a different. For example, not on an HP based champion with HP based moves. Defense with crit damage. Crit damage is something you want on a attack type piece of artifact. But we're still not going to keep this because it just doesn't make sense and it's redundant. Speed with defense on a defense is okay. Defense sets are good and okay early to mid game, but once you start doing Doom Tower and you can re reliably farm Bommel, you'll start getting a better set. It's I forgot what it was called, but it gives you resistance on top of 15% defense. Accuracy and HP, this is okay to keep. Speed. We do have a flat attack, but we do get some defense. There's nothing wrong with more defense. And resistance is okay, but it's not what you really want on a speed piece. Speed for... And by the way... You can get speed substats on everything except for main stat speed boots. Let me tell you, what, let me explain a little bit. So if you look at main substats being speed, you can't get any... Did I say that correctly? If you look at a boot and its main stat is speed, you cannot get any substats that are speed because it's already there as speed. But you can get an HP% percent boot with a speed substat. I don't have any right now, but it is possible. Oh, wait. You can get a either HP% percent attack or defense boot with a speed substat. So for an example here, defense% percent main with speed substats. But you can also get speed substats here. On any of these pieces highlighted or you can get speed substats on your banner it's just a little aside all right crit damage is something that we're going to want on rathalos except this is a crit rate not a crit damage i'm looking for crit damage or at the very least attack attack percent boots are okay i mean i guess crit rate is okay there's, there's probably no way I'm going to get 100% crit rate through substats alone right now. Frost gear, I don't like keeping too much of. Because it's a very situational thing. So if I need silver, I'm going to sell that first. One of the first sets I'll sell. Retaliation, I'm not a fan of. Same with Avenging, especially if you have champions that have counterattacks. But we'll keep it for now. Here we are. Cruel. So let's roll this up to 8 first. If we can get triple attack, that would be ideal. Cruel is an attack-based set where you can ignore 5% of the target's defense. So we got attack, that's what we want. We don't want flat attack, or we don't want flat HP. Flat H or HP percent would be okay, but we definitely don't want the thing that just rolled. Let's see if we can get a double. For damage dealers, you're looking for attack, crit rate, crit damage, speed, pretty much. The other things are a secondary. HP percent, defense percent, resistance is a secondary. Accuracy, if you're looking for accuracy, Rathalos does not need accuracy though.
These take forever. Nice, we got double attack percent, that's good. We have defense, this is a pretty good piece. It's only four stars, so we won't take it too far. But we have speed, crit rate, nothing wrong with defense. Instantly take this up to 12. Ideally, speed, crit rate. I favor triples the most, but I do accept and take doubles. What I don't want to see is a bunch of one one ones. I don't want the rolls to land on one of each. That's not a good piece in my opinion. You want you want your pieces of gear to excel. You don't want it to spread out too thin because then you're not really focusing on anything and you're not really getting anything done. It, it, it's kind of the same way, the same concept with champions in raid. If you have a bunch of champions that you start working on and you don't focus down on one champion, defense, crit rate, so this is okay. Uh, not, not what I wanted, but it's okay. We have defense percent. Weird, 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 and weird. We're going to get rid of it. As I was saying, if I have a bunch of champions that I'm trying to focus on, I'm going to spread myself thin. I'll end up getting nowhere. I want to focus on one champion and one champion only, getting him to 60, which is Soros. But for now, we're going to work on trying to get Rathalos at a decent, respectable, or in a decent, respectable build. This seems like a good offset piece. Speed, 5 stars, crit rate, and attack. Let's go take it to 12. So we got crit rate. Running out of silver here. May have to sell something. Double crit rate, we'll take it. I would like to see crit damage. HP flat, big rip, but that's okay. That's still a decent piece. Here we have crit damage and crit rate, and this will pair nicely because we get extra 10% HP and defense. Not exactly stats I need for Rathalos, but let's go ahead and roll this up. If we can get a triple crit damage or a, cri a triple crit rate, that would be huge. We do not want defense. Which is exactly the, the first thing that pops up. My cats are being noisy in the back. I swear, my cats are quiet. Until I start recording. And as soon as I start recording, they start making noise. Like, oh, dad's working. Well, we rolled triple defense, so I'm, I'm going stop, I'm gonna, to uh, stop this right here. We don't want to, right now, spend too much silver on it since we're very limited. Do I have any crit damage gear? Any crit damage gloves? Crit damage on an immortal. Let's see if we can get double crit rate. The max will only ever be at 49%. Nope, we got it on res. Any rings for him? Not yet. We'll roll this up to 8, see where it lands. Just because it is a speed set, we could make use of it. Defense, it's okay. Uh, 
That's my cat. Those are my cats. All, 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 look at, can you see this guy? Look at him. He's, you're, you're quiet, and then when I start trying to record is when you're noisy. Attack boots. Let's try these. And the reason I'm rolling everything up and showing you this right now is one, not only to just give you my insight on the way that I'm looking at gear, especially on the end game or in the beginning. I am also doing it for the optimizer because every time my gear is rolled up, the Hell Hades optimizer is updated right here. And that allows the optimizer to read the gear, sort through it, and give me potential builds. Because if I leave everything low, it becomes more so difficult for the optimizer to know what to look for. Options become limited. Oh, I do have swift parry gear. I do, I, do, I, do. I do need to go ahead and sell some stuff though because I'm running low on silver. Let's look for four star stuff and see if we can get rid of anything that's four star. If we can get double attack on this, I will keep it and we might be able to use it. This is an okay temporary band aid. We got flat HP. Give me attack. If you roll a double on HP, I'm selling you. I'm donating you. Okay. You're getting donated to Goodwill. All right. Let's see. Crit rate, accuracy. This is accuracy. I don't want to have too much accuracy because we're starting to get perception gear, and perception gear will always outweigh accuracy. I don't like the way that this one looks. We're going to get rid of it. Attack percent is okay, I guess, for now. And this is a pretty bad... No, let's get rid of it. It's, it's completely redundant. Attack with a defense. Defensive, this is okay, because it has HP, survivability stats on it. Defense accuracy is okay. Crit rate and res... There's nothing innately wrong with it. It's still usable, kind of, in the beginning or at certain places. Attack percent and crit rate. Crit rate, crit damage. We're going to sell these pieces. We're going to roll these two specifically up because they have the stats that I'm looking for in Rathalos. Hopefully we get some good rolls. Crit rate. I don't like 1-1s, one but that's okay for now. Let's hope for... Well, let's go to A first. Do not land on the flat HP. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a triple crit rate or triple crit damage. Okay, crit rate. I'll, I'll also settle for doubles. I will take a double. A double crit rate or a double crit damage with one on the crit damage or the opposite crit rate. That's not what we want to see. That is not okay, Polarium. Do not give me flat rolls. Gear is hard. Gear is hard to come by early on. I understand why a lot of people struggle, because right now I, I can't even get into the higher levels, onto the higher levels of the dungeons to farm gear. We got a bunch of 1-1-1s. One, one, uh, I'll keep it for now, but it's definitely something to sell later on. Free, or frost gear. Let's go ahead and sort through this. We don't want it. You know what? I just don't, I don't want it right now. I don't need it. I don't want it. Res? Nope. Don't want it. Immunity gear, you're looking for resistance and HP for sure. Some speed would be nice, but we don't have any of that here. Get rid of that. Shield piece. This is... I would have preferred on a shield set because the shield 
will go on your entire team based upon how much HP the champion that is wearing a shield set has. And if you have defense, then you don't increase to the shield. I would have preferred HP percent. But that's okay. This is a pretty decent piece. Hopefully, I'm going to roll this up. Maybe we can... We're at the point now where we can't be too picky with our set pieces. So we have to settle for stats over sets. You've probably heard of that saying. Maybe, maybe not. Right now, I'm just trying to string together whatever I can to get the best possible build right now that I can to give you guys insight on what it's like to build Rathalos one week into the game with the gear that I have. Speed is what we want. I do want some crit damage. I would like to ignore defense. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but my preference is leaning more towards crit damage and speed here. We got the double speed. Sweet baby Jesus, please give us speed. If you don't roll triple on speed, you will be un-American. It's the un-American thing to do. So now give me what I want. Come on. Stop wasting my silver. I hate watching my silver just drain. There you go. Triple, triple, triple. That's okay. We'll take crit. We'll take a little more crit damage. This stun piece. No, I'm looking for accuracy on a stun set. Do stun sets need accuracy? It has a flat 18. Yeah, they do. Because it has it has an a, it has a flat 18% chance. That's the first check to place. The second check will be the accuracy versus the resistance. So if you're able to pass both checks, the 18%, then the accuracy, and I can make a video about it later, then the stun will place. But we don't have any accuracy on this. We're not going to go ahead and do that. Toxic would be okay to keep for now, especially early on, especially if you want to do more damage to the clan boss. Using the Toxic set is pretty good. Or if you have a Paragon and you want to solo a certain stage, Toxic set is pretty good. We're looking for accuracy and we're looking for speed here. And it looks like we're getting some good rolls here. Actually, this piece, speed, ac no, we don't want accuracy. That's crit rate. Attack percent with crit rate. Attack percent with crit rate and flat. I'm going to sell that one. Resistance. Nope. Provoke set is pretty nice, but we're looking for accuracy. Same. Crit damage, flat HP. Nope. Nope. This will keep for now. Accuracy. The issue with this one is... The I want accuracy and speed. We might roll that one up. We might roll it up later to try it out and see how it rolls. HP percent provoke boots with defense and accuracy. Interesting. Seems very niche of a piece, but that's okay. Keep it for now. I'm not a fan of retaliation gear. I think I've mentioned it. But some of these pieces might be serviceable, mainly this because it has speed and attack. Res is okay to keep. And then there's crit rate with HP percent here, which is not bad as well. Crit rate and res doesn't really jive well with me. As I go through gear, sometimes I'm doing it based on just how I feel. If I look at a piece and I'm like, oh, I don't like how that piece looks, I go ahead and I get rid of it. Like these two pieces, don't like it. I don't like it's avenging. I don't like that it's avenging. And I don't like resistance with HP flat. Or defense percent with HP flat. We'll get rid of that. Get rid of this. Stalwart gear. We're looking for HP, defense. Nothing wrong with speed here. And accuracy. HP percent. That's pretty good on a stalwart. We're looking for HP main or defense mains res we'll get rid of we don't want that defense with the speed and res it's okay crit rate with res and speed accuracy flat attack dear goodness i don't know got a little bit of silver now and let's go look through Ooh, that's a nice nice one let's see hp defense crit damage 
this might be pretty good. This and these two pieces stand out to me the most. This is okay. Because of speed and crit rate here, attack and speed here for Rathalos. Let's go ahead and take this up to 12 or 8 first. Then we'll look at the Swift Parry, and I will pull it up on the Optimizer, see what we can come up with. Speed or attack? Okay, we got speed. Okay, speed and attack. Check the third. Attack, double attack, that's nice. And we're going to roll this up as well. Potential for a quad here. Potential for a quad. I'd like to see it on speed or crit rate. I want to see that four. I just want to see a four pop up right next to speed. All right, that's the first on speed. Can we get a second on speed? Let this be our first quad roll piece on this account. There it is. Okay, never mind. Bopping out. All right. Is that all the Swift Parry gear we have? One, two, three. So we couldn't put together a Swift Parry set, even if we wanted to. Let's roll this up to four. Maybe get attack percent. Double attack percent. This is a five piece. What kind of rework wars do we have? Mm, nope. The best way to speed crit damage. The best way to manage your gear, if you ever feel like you have a lot of gear and it keeps on stacking, is to either set a filter to get rid of gear automatically that you don't want to receive. Nice, we got speed. Or if you're manually pressing everything, if you're running a dungeon or something, what you can do is immediately sell it at that page. It takes a little bit of work, but it's also a lot of work to do on the back end if you wait to do a full gear cleanse like I just did. Because these gear cleanses take a while to do, especially once you reach cap and you want to efficiently or effectively, I should say, go through your gear. It takes a while. That's if you want to do a deep gear cleanse. If you want to do a quick gear cleanse, you use the filter the same way that I just did. Filter out, for an example, how many substats you don't want on a piece of gear and then you sell any type of gear that has that many substats or if you don't want anything that has a flat can we rework this we can rework it depending on what we get or um yeah i just said that never mind or if you oh that's what i was going to say if you don't want any more res and flat attack my, my, my. HP, HP, or speed, res. Let's roll these up. Can I get a speed? If you don't want one, two, or three star gear anymore, then you can just filter that and sell all the way like that. HP percent. Give me speed. Double speed? Okay. We got double speed. That's pretty nice. In fact, let me go ahead and roll this up to 12 and see where it lands. I was talking to somebody on stream a while ago and they said that one of the best things you can spend money on he, he is a kraken by the way 
are the gear packs that they sell. For example, if you if you see an offer for six pieces of mythical six star savage gear, he was like, "That's a really good piece, or that's a really good buy." At first, it didn't make sense to me, but then he explained it further. Defense, that's okay. And he said, you can buy packs and packs of energy. And the chances of you dropping, even if you're running hard 10, Fire Knight for an example, of you dropping that many mythical pieces, not going to be high. We didn't, we didn't get speed. I mean, I'll, I'll roll it up to 8. It's not going to be high. It makes more sense to spend the 30, 40, 50 bucks if you want that specific gear. Same thing with mythical speed gear. I don't condone, or not that I condemn it either, at speed. I don't encourage you to spend, but I just thought it was an interesting concept, the way that they look at it. Let's see if we can get anything good here. Crit rate, crit damage. Crit rate, crit damage, crit rate, crit damage. Because he's right. I could drop, I could do like 10,000 runs of Fire Knight. I could drop 10,000 energy, or not 10,000 runs. I could drop 10,000 energy on hard Fire Knight and only end up with like two, maybe three godly pieces or serviceable even. And you ask anybody who's been playing for a while, they'll tell you pretty much the same thing that, yeah, that's that's how it is. Just an interesting food for thought on the side there. But Rathalos, we're going to... Do I want to use this? Oh, I was saving this for... I was saving this for bringing whoever I put as... Or I was saving this for Saurus, sorry. When Saurus gets to rank... Six, I was going to use this barrel to instantly bring him up to six star or 60 level 60. So I can't use that on Rathalos, even though I am tempted. So take this test of him with a grain of salt. We go and move over here to live refresh. Just know that this is not the best that he could be currently gpu optimizer balanced mode configure include equipped artifacts lower it all the way to zero so it does read the unrolled pieces of gear although it becomes more unreliable it's better to roll things up to at least 12 to get a better scope or to give that better scope to hell hades's optimizer Stats, we're going to prioritize attack. Speed, we won't prioritize yet. We do want a 100% crit rate. As much crit damage as we can. Basically, I'm building him as a nuker. I want him to do as much damage as possible. I do want to include one piece of cruel gear, because I think that's pretty much it, or one set of cruel gear. That's all that I have available. And this is what I can get right now with him with his gear currently this is it 1300 or 13,000 attack 1500 sorry 13,000 hp 1500 attack 143 speed we do crit cap but we only have 69 crit damage as you can tell he's not going to be doing a lot yet and it's on gear that i didn't even really expect we have to take off sun wukong we might try that just to see how that turns out. What if I don't even put cruel gear only on it? Let's check that. Without cruel gear being set, we drop down to 1300 attack. We do have more speed. We do have more crit damage. Less defense. Very squishy quite the glass cannon what about hmm. 
Let's drop his crit rate to 95. Reason being that I'm thinking about masteries, I will be getting masteries for him. And one of the first masteries I will get is this right here, crit rate. That 5% crit rate means I don't really have to worry about that 5 crit rate here. I can set this at 95 for now, just for now, specifically just for now as I'm looking for gear. 13 attack, we have 15 over here. 96 crit rate, 1200 HP, 88 crit damage. 165 speed though on the first one, dropping down about 200 attack. Take these pieces of gear, take these pieces of gear here. The question is, do I want more speed? Or do I want more attack? This one has 155. We are crit cap. We're at 91 crit damage. 1300 attack. 13,000 HP as well. A little less on the defense. A little more speed. But once I get the Masteries, this becomes 106, and that's kind of over. Let's see here. 170 speed, 88 crit damage, 1300 attack. Taking those pieces. Well, usually the way, if you're using the Optimizer, usually the way, usually the way that this works is the first option that they provide to you up top is quote unquote the best option available for you. Taking gear off Saurus, who is my campaign farmer, and Sun Wukong, who's been helping me out in the campaign as well. For this specific video, I will take that gear off of them and We'll put it on Rathalos and see. Actually, first, let's go ahead and try to click off included artifacts and see what that brings us. If we can get anything close. Because if I don't have to take it off, I'd rather not. Okay. 1300 attack, 150 speed, 100 crit rate, lower crit damage. 1500 attack. 97 crit rate. That's okay. 67 crit damage. 103 speed. It's low. What about this? We don't take gear off anybody, and this is what we come up with without maxed gear. I am not going to have any silver to completely max out their gear quite yet. So back to square one, just so I can show you guys some relative comparisons. This won't be maxed out. I mean, none of this gear is going to be maxed out quite yet. But let's roll up this, this crit rate glove real quick. If we can get crit damage, that would be ideal. Then we'll run it one more time. HP. So we got crit damage. Let's get the 12. Hopefully we don't spend too much silver here. We got res. All right. There's no crit damage pieces. Uh, no. Let's roll this one up to 8 just to see. 
if we can get speed on it. Because I'm, I'm curious. I would like more speed. Just in general on this account. Oh, we don't get it. Let's not do that. Okay. We're at one more time. Hit live refresh. I think it just updated. But we'll do it one more time just to be safe. And we're going to click optimize. Configure. Stats. 95. And optimize. Thirteen hundred, hundred and one crit damage. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put this on, and we'll see how he does. Specifically in clan boss, I'd, I'd like to see him in clan boss right now. And I hope this gives you some sort of either entertainment or benefit of some sort. Maybe you're wondering how to build him. Maybe you're wondering if your build is good for being a beginner or a newbie. And I'm here to tell you that it is hard, so don't feel like you're missing out. Because this is as good as I can get it right now. This is it. So It's not the same stats as over here, because the this is... The potential that it provides. Saying that once you rank up everything, once you level up all of it, the gear, then those are the stats that, sh that are going to reflect. Let's go ahead and just use the rest of this to try to get our gear a little further up. Got lucky there. Wow. Back to back, just straight. Let's take some extra speed as well. If our silver, silver will allow it. Nope. Finally hit the wall here. Right. And so there it is. First, let's go ahead and at least get the 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 five. We'll call it right here Let's see how he does by himself oh that's not a good stage Let's see how he does by himself here I'm trying to get scrolls for him okay so thousand seven thousand eight. 9.4 There it is, the decreased defense. Nice, nice. Pretty darn good. Can we do stage 4 by himself? He's of equal affinity here. I wasn't too high on him initially when I got him and I talked about him in past videos, specifically for newer players. Maybe I just overthink things because he seems to be doing relatively well. That was nice. Nice, he soloed stage four. And we got a level up there. Let's go ahead and throw this on. Get extra crit rate. We do have the speed bonus here. And these are the stats. 12, 12, 151 speed. Almost at crit cap. And I like that we at least got 100 crit damage. Let's take him into clan boss normal. And what I'm going to do here, I've been throwing champions in just to throw them in. But I'm going to actually take some time and manual this. And we'll see how far we can get. We're taking Saurus out. 
gonna put you in. Sun Wukong can get some helmet. We'll get we'll get something on him. There we go. One seventy five speed now. Keep in mind when you're hitting the clan boss, auras. You want to look for auras that say in all battles. If you have something that says in arena battles or dungeon battles, these will not apply here. This does not count as a dungeon. What you want to do is look for all battles. So our options here are go faster, have more HP, or have more defense. A 20% boost to defense. I think that maybe we could benefit from more defense because my entire team right now is lacking in defense. So we're going to go in like this. Keep in mind, these are not maxed out characters. They don't have everything that they need to um, do well, I should say, right now. And we are negative affinity with Kale, so keep that in mind. And we're going to start out with the A3. I think this is the move we want to start off with to get the increase to crit damage and speed. We can put increase attack on him as well with the A1. He does have a buff up. Sun Wukong is good at stealing buffs. He will remove, steal, and place block buffs. So we got that. We're going to hit with the A2, which will ignore 100% of the target's defense, the boss. 1900 okay we want to a1 only or a3 only with kale to place the poisons and we can place block buffs here because the next move that he is going to do will place decrease attack on us with spirit host it doesn't matter too much because we could go around again and cleanse but sometimes that decrease attack will go on when it's a damage dealer's time to attack before spirit host can get to them and that's missing out on some damage. Better to place block buffs up before that happens. 12, we didn't get the decreased defense down. And that's mainly because, even though, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys in a minute here, 10,000 ticks, and yeah, so my speed tune was off and we still got the decreased defense. 50% chance of placing decreased defense. It says this buff cannot be resisted, but it is only uh, a 50% chance. So there is that first check with a 50% chance to land or not land. But if it does pass the first check, if I'm understanding this correctly, if it does pass the first check, you don't have to worry about accuracy if it passes that first check. The second check is the accuracy versus resistance check. Didn't get it again. Poisons. Weak hitting. Ignore 50%. Let's get this. Kale takes the stun, hitting the A1. We're going to save the block buffs. A2. Try to ignore some damage. 5300. Get some poisons up there. Increase attack. I think he's going to do this, which increases his attack. So we're going to place block up. Uh, block buffs before he can do that. 1200. Really not landing the decreased defense here. Let's get the big voice, uh, big, big version of poisons up. Does it not land? There we go. We got the decreased defense, which is huge. Now we're heading for 18. We resisted. The decrease attack. We're going to heal Rathalos. Actually, maybe should have healed her. Jamarsa is my healer right now and my reviver, so it might have behooved me to do so. Get more poisons on. Block buffs, we won't worry about yet. Let's do a little more damage. Poke, decrease defense once more. Because Jamarsa is the closest to death, the clan boss sees that as the easiest target, so. His stun will target the champion that looks like the juiciest one for him. Whoever he thinks he can kill first. Otherwise, normally he would go for Kale because Kale is of a negative affinity. Because he has technically more power being positive affinity over Kale. Poison. 
poisons. And Jamarsa is gone. So that becomes an issue. 2600 from Sun Wukong. 17, 38. Poisons, weak hits. 18. And there he goes. Attack. And from here, we'll just A1 for the most part. Kale takes the stun again. We lost our decreased defense, guys. Now our main source of damage will be raw damage coming from Sun Wukong and Kale with his poisons. If they land all the time, but they're not landing consistently. Because he is of negative affinity. He he's even getting hit strong. If you see him get hit by the clan boss again, you'll notice that a pink strong text shows up. And it's all due to the negative affinity. Kale's gone. Now it's just these two. Take that off of him. Steal it. Don't need to increase attack because he already has it. Take it from the clan boss. 21. Let's go ahead and cleanse. And Spirit Host will die here soon. Let's place the increase attack. There it is. Not too long now. Not too long. Can we at least hit a million? Too shy. Too shy. There it is, 90, 90, 96, short of a million on a manual run. Which I didn't need to do because I was already, I already had my, my top chest from easy. I should have gone to normal, but I just wanted to see what Rathalos would be able to do 